Hi, my name is Alessandro Rotteloria and I am an assistant professor working in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Northwestern University, where I direct its Mechanics and Energy Lab. Let me present you the members of the MEL. Hi, I'm Anne. Bonjour, my name is Gibril. Hello, my name is Man Lu Zhang. Hello, I'm the Banshu. Hola, my name is Jesse Knox. Hello, my name is Lei Mingbu. Hi, I'm Andoni. Hello everyone, I'm Isa Pan. Hello, my name is Nathan Friedel. Ciao a tutti, my name is Lisa. Marhaban, my name is Yusuf Lebar. At the MEL, we transcend the boundaries of conventional disciplines, and we work at the intersection of geomechanics, energy, and environmental sustainability to double theoretical and experimental investigations centered on the subsurface. Historically, the perception of the subsurface has been very negative. Hell was even thought to reside there, according to the Italian poet Dante Alighieri. In a world characterized by increasing demand for energy and the ability to cope with extreme weather events and natural hazards, we believe that the subsurface can provide tremendous solutions for a sustainable and resilient future. We envision a world in which the subsurface will represent a central dimension for life, resulting from an ongoing surge in the construction of facilities, buildings and infrastructures underneath our feet. In this scenario, energy transfers will not only be established with the subsurface to sustainably meet the increasing energy requirements of buildings through innovative technologies, but they will also serve innovative engineering treatments to facilitate new constructions and protect existing ones against a variety of climate perturbations and natural hazards. Inspired by this vision, at the well we perform basic research to understand, characterize and predict the impact of energy transfers on the structure, properties and behavior of geological materials soils, rocks, concrete, and systems thereof. Our work specifically aims to unravel how thermal and electric fields influence the capability of geological materials to sustain mechanical forcing, transfer heat, or allow fluids permeation. Our overarching goal is to understand geological materials at their most fundamental structural level and to investigate the essential features of their multiphysical properties and behavior. In this manner, not only we can shed light on the variables and mechanisms that govern the subsurface response due to a myriad of processes involving the transfer of energy, but we can also develop competence serving sustainable uses of the subsurface to produce and store energy, as well as innovative uses of energy to engineer the subsurface. We believe that this competence has the potential to disrupt current practices to live in built environments and interact with natural ones, with lasting impacts on our world. Now, let me briefly show you how do we do this. Everything we do starts from here, but the work we perform is also carried out here, in here, and here. A considerable amount of the work we perform consists of developing theories and models that we integrate into computer software for the most diverse predictions. To test and validate these tools, we create experiments with some of the most advanced facilities available worldwide. The majority of these experiments take place in our lab, but some also in the field upon the need. Considering the limit of the research that we perform our imagination, we further use Chicago as an alternative lab, harnessing the power of sensors and big data for the sake of our research and educational initiatives. Following this approach, our studies address temporal problems lasting from seconds to centuries, and spatial problems ranging from the size of particles to cities, with the ultimate aim to understand what is possible for achieving the seemingly impossible.